It's the morning show, Rise and Grind. I mean to say what? One fourth of the team, DJ Khaled is yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, Kiss the Ring and Stores Tuesday. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, ain't nobody making them hits like I make them. No one. Ain't nobody finding them hits like I find them. At ain't all. nobody putting them out like I put them out. You heard them. You feel me? Listen. Kiss the Ring and Stores Tuesday. <laughs> you see, you see that new video of me, Kanye and Raw, stunning on them hard. I see you. My money on another, another level. level. Woo! Listen, with Kim, Kim Kardashian's in the yeah, video too. Yeah, Did you know that was gonna happen? I mean, I, when, I didn't know she was gonna be in the video, but you know, when Kanye came to say he was with his girl, so you know, it was it was nice that she was there hanging out. Meaning, as in, you know, she stayed through the whole video. You know, because we was there all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was love, and she was enjoying herself. She good people. Yeah. She good people. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kim Kardashian. She definitely um uh. Put a, uh, a bonus to the video. You I thought you were going to say something else, dude. No, 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 no. You said you know, Bo, and no, I was like, no, where's no, this no. going? No, 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 no. I don't do that. But I'm saying, when the video came out, you know, she's, you know, she got like, I think like 15, 20 million followers or something like that. And, um, you know, the whole world just posted the video. You know, the video big. Don't get it twisted. It's yeah. what we do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, when Kim Kardashian jump in the video, it's called CNN. Listen, it's a you different demographic. Yeah. Like I said, we got a lot of stations in this cluster. Right. And, the, you know, the white girl is coming over like, DJ Khaled. I'm like, boo-boo. Yeah. It's Khaled. Yeah, yeah, And, yeah, yeah Kim Kardashian's yeah. in the video. It's a whole different yeah. demographic. So that's yeah. that's a good look for you. So the album, listen, Khaled, when I seen the Kiss the Ring, first of all, that's the album. Right. You don't got the ring on right now, but no, I'm no. sure it's locked away somewhere because yeah, the thing. Look a little we heavy. Few, we got a few pinky rings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when the track listing came out, I was like, yo, this is crazy. How did this like well, you're known for putting mad people on, on your on your songs. Right. But the amount of star power that you have on this album, I mean, I'm looking at this track list and literally like Meek Millie, Ace Hood, T. I. Future, Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj, Chris Brown. Like it's crazy. Nas, yo, not everybody. Scarface, Scarface Nas Movado, Big Sean. Big Sean. I it, listen, I'm running out of breath. Just <laughs> nah, the album, Everybody's on this. But you know, the, you know what's so great is besides having so much star power and so much amazing artists on the album, is what they did on the album. Meaning, as in, they came with the A game, and it's just greatness. You know, I tell people all the time, they don't, nobody could do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen records people get features on. They cool, and I like them. You know what I'm saying? I think it's dope. Yeah. But when they get on a Khaled record, it's on. And turn it out. It's turn up time. Yeah. You know, and it's, and it's, and it's, I've been like, it's, you know, six albums, six, seven summers straight DJ Khaled anthems every summer. Yo, you own all the summers. Like, nobody else has room. Move over. Yeah, nah, nah, I ain't never gonna stop. That's why I, <laughs> I named the album Kiss the Ring for a reason, man. I didn't wait the, I didn't name my first album Kiss the Ring, the second, third, fourth, fifth. I named it the sixth because. It's respected to name that. They need to bow down. Yeah, they got to bow down, man, and kneel. And kiss the ring. And kiss the ring. You know, I just <laughs> wanted to know how you go about putting people on specific records. For example, They Ready, J. Cole, Big Crit, Kendrick Lamar. That feels so right. Yeah. The record feels so good. You put the right people on the record. Yeah. How do you decide who's well, going to go where? Well, that record is crazy because it's such a blessing it's because I wanted to make a record with all them three guys, right? And Big Crit had this record, and he had told me he did something with J. Cole, and when I heard it, I was like, this is amazing. This sample's crazy, the beat's crazy. And then um, I was like, man, I want to put Kendrick Lamar on here too. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like those three guys, they the the power of the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I say the future, just like them three guys, you know what I'm saying, they just really dope, and they represent what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Of right now, and it ended up just working out great, man. J. Cole was with it, Kendrick was with it, Big Crit was with it, and ended up being on my album. And it's like that record does have a special feeling, you know what I'm saying? Right. And other records, you know what I'm saying? Like when I get a track, like for instance, the Nas and Scarface, when I heard the track, I automatically knew I wanted to put Nas and Scarface on it, you know what I'm saying? When um, I made Take You to the Head, before um, while we was making the beat, I knew these are the guys I wanted to do, and that's why I kind of created a certain sound. They yeah. Ready is my song. Yeah. And then the song with Meek Millie, the, um, um, what's it called? Um, the one that you was I playing. I did it for my dogs. I did it for my dogs. Yeah, I did yeah, it for my yeah, dogs. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's that goes hard. That that's goes a, hard. Yeah, that's, that record right there, man, I had fun making that record because um, me and French Montana was in the studio, and 
Um, I got beat from Pete Bowie from Philly, I think. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and I really told Pete yeah. Bowie, we need this, I need this right certain type of sound. And he actually listened to me and we, and we delivered the right sound. So me and uh, French was in the studio and we came up with the hook together. And I was like, yo, you know that, you know when you on stage scheming, when you on Raw, say dope. Dope. You know what I'm saying? I said that one ad lib was so powerful. You know what I'm saying? I like, we gotta make a song called I Did It For My Dogs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we ended up pulling that off, and then I seen Ross, and Ross added his part on it. They took it to the next level, Crazy. then Meek, then Ross, then French, then last minute I called Jada Kiss. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a that's a ant, that's a street ant. It really is. I thought you would have put Jada and Nas together, yeah, but yeah, somebody yeah. was saying that's been done. That's been so, done a lot. You know, that's been done a lot. And that is that. I would love to do it. And if, if Khaled does it, it's gonna be the biggest one. <laughs> right. You know what I'm trying to show you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. It's different. When I do it, it's a whole other movie. Right. You feel me? What's in your Store favorite Tuesday. song there? What's your favorite song? I mean, my favorite song. I ain't gonna. I like them all because I think they're all amazing. But you know. I'm very proud to create hip hop. Mm, that's a joy with Nas. You know, the reason why I gotta say it because I know how much it means to the culture of that song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I love them all. There's a huge record. I love uh, Bottles and Bitches, excuse me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love Take It Ahead. I love I Wish You Would. I love They Ready. Wish You Would. Yeah, I Wish, wish You, you would. would. You gotta say it with some anger. No, I love it. <laughs> like, those are my, those songs are powerful. Right. The only reason why I'm saying hip hop is my personal proud. Because it touched people in a different way. And you cannot make that. That type of record only can be made probably once every 10 years. You was in the studio with Nas? Uh, yeah, we was in the studio with Nas. I played Nas the record and we was vibing. And then he went in his own chamber days later and, and knocked it out. But yeah, we sat down and talked about it in the studio and uh, you know calculated the movie. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I could talk to you all day, yo, but know, you got to go. Know, you you an important yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um real quick, you know, are there any arranged marriages in the situation? <laughs> what, you, what you mean? What you mean? Because you're Palestinian, yeah, sometimes nah, nah. they be arranging marriages. I you know, I mean, I'm, I'm do, waiting they, for Khaled to, you they know, do settle that. down they do a little bit. I mean, I got I got a happy home. I got a woman at the crib, you know what I'm saying? She take care of me. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Um she crazy too, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Abu Apparel. Make sure you check that www. Abuapparel.com, but um, now nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? All I'm right. blessed. So you know no arranged marriages. Nah, you nah, good? Nah. I'll be putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? When I go home, <laughs> I put in that you. work. You feel me? <laughs> Kiss the ring. You already know. Go cop it tomorrow. Crazy album. It's the Rise and Grind Morning Show. DJ Khaled. Thank you for Thank coming you. through. Me to say what here? Let's get it. You radio is locked to Philly's Power 99 FM.